Today I'll be using the ice fruit to see if it's actually OP or not. So I have my main account right here and let's give myself the fruit. And there we go. I got permanent ice on this account. So now let's go to the shop, scroll down to ice fruit and equip it. There we go, bro. Now we have ice. Now let's activate a few codes. Now it's time to grind. So this fruit is said to be one of the best fruits because as you can see, wait, hold on. I don't have the Logi effects yet. As you can see, I cannot get hit because I'm higher level than this NPC. And there we go, off to the jungle island already. Alright, now I'm at the jungle and I already do pretty good damage with this fruit. Also, here's the very first move. Honestly, it's pretty good. It does 75 damage. Alright, my Logi effect should be coming in here because I'm almost level 14. And there we go, level 15, 16, and 17. Oh wow, 18. Yep, these guys cannot hit me anymore. Now it's time to fight the gorillas. Also, since this is ice fruit, I can actually walk on water. Okay, these guys honestly hurt, but that's just because my Logi effects aren't working yet because these guys are level 20 and I'm only level 19 right now. And there we go, I unlocked my new quest, which means I can fight the Gorilla King, which I'll do right now because I just completed my quest. Okay, let's see how much damage this first move does to him. Okay, 130 damage. That's actually pretty good, dude. And while he's doing that, I can just shoot him from way over here. Oh my gosh, bro, this guy with flame just killed me. At least I still got the quest though. I'm only a few mastery away from unlocking my next move. And there we go, it's time to go to the next island. Alright, here we are at the next island, and... Yeah, bro, grinding up this fruit is pretty easy. And there we go, first quest completed. And now these guys can't hit me. This fruit is definitely, like, one of the best starter fruits. Maybe light is better, but that's probably only... That's probably the only fruit I can think of that would be better than this fruit. And there we go, I just unlocked my next move. Okay, let's see what it does, Ice Surge. Okay, it does this big thing that sends my enemies flying. Which isn't too bad, but it might be a little bit more tedious for grinding because it makes it harder for you to gather them up. And there we go, we are level 50. Honestly, I'm gonna go roll a fruit just to see what I get. Yeah, this fruit is definitely really OP to grind with because I've only been grinding for about 15 minutes now and I've already gained 50 levels. But let's see what we get. And we got a flame fruit, bro. That's actually kind of fitting, actually. Okay, but now that I grinded up with it on my noob account, I'm going to start using it a little bit on this account just to showcase the moves. Okay, so as you can see, if you have good movement speed, it's pretty easy to use this instead of a boat because you can get it across the map pretty fast. But I have zero points in my block fruit, so I'm not really going to be judging this off of damage, but the sheer moves. So this is the first move, as you saw on my noob account. Then this is the next move, which kind of sends the enemy flying, not that good for grinding. And then we have the ice bird. It actually freezes them, which is pretty good. And then we have this, which freezes everyone in this area, which is not that bad. So guys, let me know what you rate ice fruit on a scale of 1 to 10 and comment which fruits you want me to review next time.